Good evening, I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Rob McCartney. Thanks for joining us tonight. We are practicing social distancing here at KETV News Watch 7, as the governor and others have recommended. Now we want to begin with tonight's breaking news. Well, the Douglas County Health Department confirms two new cases of coronavirus. This includes one case announced yesterday that was under investigation. Now investigators are adding places where the people may have been exposed to COVID-19. Two Creighton basketball games over the past week. At this point, investigators do not know where the person sat. List also includes Walmart at 120th and L on March 4th, as well as the bus from Barrett's on Leavenworth to the Creighton game. Patty McGowan's bar at 45th and Center and the Walmart at 168th and West Maple. And then on March 5th, the Gretna Walmart at 168th and West Maple, and then the Walmart at 168th and West Maple also on the 6th. On March 7th, again, the Walmart, West Maple, the Creighton Seton Hall game at CHI Health Center Arena Saturday afternoon, and then old market bars, including the Stadium Club, Barry O's, Jackson Street Tavern, and Drastic Plastic. On March 10th, the low risk exposure at the Kona Grill at Village Point. On March 11th, the Walgreens at 24th and L, the High V at 50th and Center, and the next day, the Walmart at 168th and West Maple. Well, the CDC recommends canceling gatherings of 50 people or more in the U.S. Nebraska's governor and Omaha's mayor say they are considering restrictions just like that. KETV News Watch 7's Sarah Feely breaks down the state and city response. St. Patrick's Day will be a lot quieter this year. Governor Pete Ricketts declares a state of emergency over COVID-19 and limits gatherings to 250 people or less. Yesterday we had our first case where we could not track where that person came from. And so this is our first case of what we call community spread. If another case of community spread is confirmed, that number would drop even lower. Omaha Mayor Jean Stothert is already considering it. Maybe it's time for us to use our powers now with the holiday, St. Patrick's Day coming on, and with all of the events that we know are going to be held in our bars and in our restaurants. Stothert and Chris Rogers, president of the Douglas County Board of Health, say the number could drop as low as 25 to 50 people. They want businesses to prepare. Bar owners. It's not referring to businesses per se, but particularly entertainment gatherings, things of that sort. Uh, the public needs to be on notice that we are definitely having conversations and could likely um, pull the trigger to limit crowd size. Stother says she's concerned about the people in the bars and the first responders who may be responsible for them. Police Chief Todd Schmatter laid out what could happen if the ban takes effect and someone violates it. If we determine it's over, we'll work with the bar owner to get them in, under compliant in compliance or we can take the measures to shut it down. That would accompany a tavern report and we come also accompany some type of criminal criminal action. In Omaha, Sarah Feely, KETV, News Watch 7.